Hello Hastings, I'm Tom Wright and welcome to another In Studio. This time around I welcome a new face, Miss Paige Marshall, the new City's Recreation Programming Specialist for the City of Hastings. Welcome Paige. Thank you, Tom. Great to be here. Yes, good to have you. Paige here has been very busy lining up a lot of events down at the new Levy Park. You may have noticed there's a, a new look down there, a new pavilion, um, and lots of new features down there that uh, residents and visitors are enjoying. So we're going to talk all about that, all those events you have going on. But first, Paige, before we get into the, all these events and stuff you have going on, let's uh, hear more about you since you're new and uh, hear about uh, your background and, where you, and how you ended up in Hastings. Yeah, thanks, Tom. I came, I grew up in Farmington, uh, Minnesota. I went to uh, school in River Falls for my undergrad for um, elementary education and leisure studies, so recreation. Nice. And then I took a year to do um, community education programming, so summer programs and field trips programming. And then um, throughout all that, I was with the city of Farmington Parks and Rec for nine years seasonally. Um, in and out of, of programming and organizing for the City of Farmington Parks and Rec. And then I just started with the City of Hastings Parks and Rec seven months ago as a rec program specialist, as well as the administra administrative assistant in the office and the um, city recycling coordinator. Well, wow, so you wear a few hats then. I do, I wear quite a few hats and, and it keeps me busy, but they all kind of tie in together and it lets me communicate with the public and the community and visitors within the City of Hastings and all of those roles. Wow. Well, let's talk about your role as the, the city's uh, recreation programming specialist. What does that mean? What are you responsible for? So my role is specifically for recreation programming within the community of Hastings and partnerships with local organizations and businesses. So really when I came to this position, it's a brand new position with the city of Hastings. We just um, started it in November and the city wanted somebody to program events down at the new Rotary Pavilion as well as be a support within the recreation department. We currently have our director, Chris Jenkins, mm -hmm. uh, sports coordinator, Phil Vargas, and then our parks keepers and, and park maintenance crew, and then myself. We have a six month oh, aquatics manager on staff as well. Nice, and do you all get along? Is it, you guys get along at the parks <laughs> We have fun in the office, nice. we do. Yep, we like people coming and visiting and letting us know what they think about the sports programs, the aquatic center, our um, arena center as well and what happens in the summer, fall, winter, and spring. Nice. Do you guys watch uh, reruns of Parks and Rec uh, uh, during your breaks <laughs> down there? I have actually never seen Parks and Rec. You have not seen Parks and Rec? <laughs> oh. I have not. Well, you need to. My you husband to has, and he keeps telling me that I need to try it. Yes, Because I'm sure to. my job is exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would appreciate it. It's a great show. Uh, well, uh, not as great as in studio, by the way, but it, it's a good show. <laughs> it's a good show. Um, let's talk about all these events that you have lined up here for the, the Levy Park. We're in, into July now already, um, and you've already had a few run in June. Uh, tell us about all the stuff going on. I know there's movies, there's music and fitness, all kinds of stuff. Yes, yeah, so what I really wanted to do was get a good feel for what the community is looking for, what feedback there is, what we don't have within the city of Hastings, and what could be brought to the city of Hastings for the community as well as visitors. Um, townships close by, close suburban communities close by, the rural townships as well. And to really offer a good variety of um, family-based programs as well as um, teen programs and youth programs for the community to enjoy free of cost or at a minimal fee. So we began with our grand opening on May 26th and then the following week we started Storytime in the Park as our first event down there. And not knowing what to expect, because it's a free event for, and it's during the day on Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. on Wednesdays, the first Wednesday of the month mm -hmm. until September. And we had over 100 kids attend Storytime wow. in the Park on Wednesday at 10.30 that's really, in the yeah, morning. Yeah, Wednesday at 10.30, that's really yeah, good. Yeah, and it's a partnership with Pleasant Hill Library here in Hastings. And the children's librarian reads two stories, and we do songs, games, and puppet plays. And then I lead games and crafts for the kids. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's a great turnout, and we're looking forward to the next one here in July. Awesome. And you have some music going on in the park as well? Yes, yep. We have our music concert series as well as music in the park with Hastings Arts Center. And that is, um, Hastings Arts Center has um, music in the park on Saturdays at mm -hmm. 10 a.m. And we have our concert series 7 p.m. on Tuesday evenings in the summer. Very cool. And of course, oh, movies in the park. I understand that you had a big crowd for that one. We did, yes. So we received our outdoor 16-foot outdoor movie screen from the Doffing Fund here in Hastings. And it is a um, portable movie screen, so it can be utilized anywhere within the city of Hastings, so multiple parks, but this year we're using it at the Rotary Pavilion. 
and we showed the movie Inside Out. We did a public vote on our uh, Twitter and Facebook. Uh -huh. And then we let the public vote, and it was a four-day vote from Monday to Thursday. And they they chose Inside Out versus Jurassic World by a landslide. Oh, and really? And our next <laughs> vote. Jurassic World was Yeah. Uh -huh. Our next vote is um, coming up on June 27th. And that vote will be for Pan or Goosebumps. Pan or Goosebumps. So the public will have an opportunity to vote that last, the last week in June. Cool. Yes. My kids have seen Goosebumps. I think they'd probably <laughs> vote for that one. They, yeah. they love that one. So it's fun to get the community engaged, and we really want to encourage people to have a choice and have, have a feel that they're involved with it, within the programs down at the new Rotary Pavilion and have the opportunity to to vote and put their put their two cents in and hopefully come down whether it's a movie they chose or not the movie they chose to just come down with their families bring some popcorn or have some popcorn provided by River City Popcorn and Candy Company there. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, well that's very smart to put it the vote put it up to a vote and then you know because yeah. um, you want to play what people want to watch, right? Definitely, yeah. we do. Very smart. Yes. And I understand there's some exercising going on down at the park, too. We do. We have two partnerships this year. We have one partnership with CrossFit HSE, it's Hastings Strength and Conditioning Gym here in Hastings. Um, it's right out past the Hastings Civic Arena, back in the industrial area. And we also have the YMCA, and we have instructors for different classes throughout, throughout um, the summer. So cool. CrossFit will be once a month on Thursdays, and then we have YMCA twice a month on Mondays. So lots of stuff going on. At least it sounds like at least one a week, isn't it? We have two to three a week. Or two to three a week. Yes. Even. Jeez. Yep. So we want to encourage people to come down, check out the new space, enjoy the riverfront, go for walks, take your dogs, go biking, fishing, experience the new riverfront renaissance that the city of Hastings has been working so hard on completing in oh, yeah. many months before I was around. Well. When, but now that you're around, you're a busy gal too. I mean, I, I, I ran into you actually the other day at one of these events and I understand that, you, uh, are you there at almost all these things? Yes, I am there um, before setting up, during the event, and then after for taking down. Oh, wow. So I'm there to be support with our partners and I'm there for if we need an, any extra boot. So for example, our movie screen had a little glitch for our first movie in the park, but uh -huh. I was there and, and we kind of made it humorous. We did a countdown with the kids and huh. it happened about two times. So now we got it all figured out. We have a new projector we're trying out and we're going to give it a go for July here. Nice, nice. Well, uh, for anybody that's watching is curious to find out more uh, information on these events and the calendar of events, where can they find it? They can have a couple options available. Oh. They can visit our City of Hastings website. It's, it's www.hastingsmn.gov slash programs and events. Perfect. As well as the City of Hastings Facebook page, the City of Hastings Twitter page, and the City of Hastings Instagram page. Cool. So we have multiple outlets that people can visit and try to utilize to find information. And we should also plug, I noticed down there you have some new signs uh, encouraging people to plug uh, the Riverwalk on social media, right? Yeah, so we're very excited. We have a partnership with the Chamber of Commerce. The new president, Christy Bars, and the communication coordinator, Lee Stoffel, work together to put on a um, social media campaign for hashtag Hastings Riverwalk, hashtag Hastings Rocks. So if you take a picture down by the Riverwalk from all the way to the Lock and Dam, to all the way to the railroad tracks along the River Rock in Hastings by the Mississippi on the trail or anywhere in that area in that space, um, you can tag your pictures with the hashtag and be entered in automatically to get a $25 gift card to a local downtown business and restaurant in Hastings. Nice, there you go, $25 gift certificate yes, just for each week. Know, posting a picture. Well, Paige, congratulations again on your new job. Thank you. And uh, it sounds like they hired the right person here, I have Thank to you. say. And I look forward to some of these events coming up in this summer. Sounds good. Yes. Again, Paige Marshall, your city's recreation programming specialist here in the city of Hastings. And uh, again, if you'd like to find out more about these events and get the calendar of events, they're on the city's website. Uh, just go onto that uh, website you see right there on your screen. All right. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.